They said that there never would be any indictees. Nisam kriv i nisam učestvao ni u jedna od dijela koja mi se stavio na teret za optužnicu. And then they said there would never be any trials. Malheureusement, nous n'avons qu'une salle d'audience et donc nous devrons la partager avec les autres procès qui sont en cours. Le tribunal est très chargé en ce moment. And then they said there would never be any convictions. Vous êtes donc coupable général Christich de génocide. and there would never be any sentencing. For the foregoing reasons, the appeal chamber imposes a sentence of life imprisonment. Nearly 25 years later, the International Criminal Tribunal for the former Yugoslavia is proud of having dismantled the tradition of impunity for war crimes around the world. The message now is much clearer, as I said. It's no longer, there's no longer impunity. And this is, in my opinion, the um, uh, greatest, the most fundamental, the most important legacy of uh, the ICTY. In 1999, the tribunal became the first ever international court to indict a sitting head of state for crimes committed during an ongoing armed conflict. On uh, May 22nd, I presented an indictment for confirmation against Slobodan Milosevic and four others, charging them with crimes against humanity. I consider this tribunal a false tribunal and indictments false indictments. Mr. Milosevic, you are now before this tribunal and you're within the jurisdiction of it. Over the years, the ICTY has adjudicated facts in cases of more than 100 accused individuals, many of them high-ranking politicians, military or police officers. They never dreamed that one day they would answer for these crimes, they would be brought before a court of law. That has been a great achievement. Of the 161 persons indicted by the tribunal today, none remain at large. It sends a very strong signal throughout the world that international criminal justice is achievable. In more than 7,000 trial days, ICTY judges received and evaluated evidence about thousands of crimes committed during the conflicts in the former Yugoslavia. But one of the results of this is that we have um, one of the most completely documented incidents of mass violence in the history of humanity. More than 4,000 witnesses testified about some of the most harrowing experiences of their lives and helped to establish the most complete oral history of the conflicts. If people didn't have bravery and courage to come forward, 
place would not function at all. It's as simple as that. What we have learned from our witnesses so far is that they testify so their story can be heard, so the world knows what happened. You know, one of its achievements very early on, in a way more so early on, was this narrative for the annals of history. Whether history cared to listen or not is another matter. But the story was told of what happened. The testimony and the evidence enabled ICTY's judges to create a modern-day understanding of international criminal justice. There's been more jurisprudence out of our tribunal in five years than in the past 500 years from international criminal courts. That is quite a remarkable achievement, especially if you think back to the way in which the tribunal was created as a gesture by the UN Security Council, really. International and domestic courts will continue building upon the legal legacy of the ICTY. The established facts will be used in trials in the former Yugoslavia for many years to come. Osnovao odjel za ratne zločine, mogu sa zadovoljstvom reći da je u regiji prvi počeo primjenjivati praksu Haškog tribunala u svojim odlukama. Despite its humble beginnings, the ICTY's prosecutors, defense counsel and judges demonstrated that the international criminal justice can be attained. Whatever political realities the future brings, this lesson will not be unlearned.